help me out imagine how our, our creative world goes in terms of theatre TV, TV. Because all our models have been, there is a dominant culture, and there are marginal cultures, and the dominant culture then gets tolerant and inclusive, and includes a marginal culture, a marginal culture, yeah. a marginal culture. Mm -hmm. That's a model. Yeah. And for me, the model is kind of flawed, because it always means there's going to be a dominant culture, in this case it's white, and there's always going to be the word that is totally inappropriate in minorities. If we're actually building a different kind of place mm -hmm. that is not ethnic-centric in any way, there is no center, therefore there is no margin. <coughs> How do we create, where can we go creatively with our theaters and our TVs and our stories to make that world, which I've never seen in any other culture before, right? I've never seen a non-ethnocentric country culture. You know, we're doing pretty good. We have a you know yeah. white-centric culture, and then there's wonderful cultures from Trinidad and wonderful cultures from Tehran and Sudan, and, what, and that's great. But if we're trying to move away from being an ethnocentric culture with inclusive of other groups, to say no, 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 there's no center anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. It's 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 uh. And I think of this particularly in terms of indigenous cultures. Yeah. Because if we say, well, yeah, we're going to be very inclusive, we're going to include indigenous voices, we're going to have indigenous plays, we're going to have an indigenous theater. Yeah. These are all very good things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still saying to other cultures, you're still a margin and we're sticking you on the sides yeah. because we're nice people. Yeah. And at some point we got to move beyond that model, it seems to me. And I don't know how one reimagines that world we're going to create. I don't, you know, I wonder, I wonder when we start, like, trying to imagine the perfect place, it's like the horizon, that's, it's, like, it's all, the horizon, you know, the horizon will always be there, and keep going towards it, and it will always be there, like, the perfect, that perfect place, and, and so I, I don't know the answer to that, because I feel like, I feel like all, what we can do is just, Nurture, nurture the voices as equitably as possible, all over, and then see what comes up and what we don't. We don't know. We we'll, we won't know until we get there. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, but you're also a person who sat in the committee of the Canada Council yeah. and went down and realized that yeah. certain words have to be opened up and defined yeah, yeah. to change what happens up there. Yeah, and that's the instrument of production, right? Those right. are the instruments and the infrastructure <clears throat> of production, like how. Who, who, how do projects get funded? Where does the money come from? What are the obstacles to, for that money being distributed equitably? And then, and then the other end of it, does that work get distributed equitably? So those are, you know what I mean? Those are huge, those are, each of those areas is a huge. It's also what audiences want to see. Yeah. It's and It's not just what artists want to create, it's what audiences want to see. And if we only want to see people in strange spandex costumes pretending to be superheroes saving the world, Hollywood will create that stuff. Yeah. And how do you make an audience, or how do we encourage an audience that wants to see not just Korean actresses playing Shakespearean characters, but the play itself not have a specific ethnicity? And it's, you know, Shakespeare will be uh, English ethnicity because he's an English playwright. How do you actually create the stories where there aren't those yeah. central things on which we tack? Well, I think the one thing that has been good is is the more the more the more funding there is through through councils and stuff like that are institutions that have already developed um, 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 a mandate to to fund equitably to front fund projects cross-culturally and, and inclusively. The more money goes into those institutions and it gets distributed, the more artists grow. And it's the art, it, those artists, um, whether they're Asian, First Nations, Black, uh, from uh, the Caribbean originally, or from, from Africa originally, or from the United States, and, and Inuit, and all these, the more, the, the, the more voices there are, the, 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 the greater, uh, the closer we'll be to that ideal. 
It's just such a huge question though, Robert. I don't know the answer to that. Like The only parallel I have, and it, it's my hope more than where yeah. is the land acknowledgement. Yeah. So we're in the habit of doing the land acknowledgement before public events. Uh, some people say, come on, how long are we going to do this for? You know, well, we've heard this before. You know, that didn't yeah. show that people, okay, how long are we going to do this? But it, I feel that the land acknowledgement is a parallel to changing the cultural thing. Yeah. In the land acknowledgement, repeated so often in every public gathering, is starting to address shifting the bottom basement of how we see yes, land. Yes, yes, yes. Not whether we will be fair and include to the Mississaugas the new credit, that would be part of it. But it starts to shift the ideas two basements down of how we view land, which is the source of And it power. changes the discourse right now. 